talk to you a little bit more about your career. So you obviously have an incredible successful run in theater and TV and now movies too coming up. So what, when you think back to when you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? Like what was like the ultimate dream if you can think, if you can reflect back? Um, I just wanted to, I'm, I'm living my dream. I wanted to tell stories. I just wanted yeah. to, um, climb into the shoes of these people, these characters and, and live in other people's experiences. Okay. Uh, selfishly, like as a kid, because that's fun. And yeah. I think a lot of kids do it. They play pretend or whatever. Yeah. Um, but then like, as I got older, it, it became a lot more about not only do I get to do that, but like, because of that, I get this amazing community and I get to connect with, uh, people and places that I wouldn't have otherwise. Um, yeah. So, but that's where it all began, really. You grew up in a, like a theatrical family or a family that was really involved in the arts or was it? Um, so yes, I mean, half and half. My, my family is very um, uh, arts minded and science minded. No performers. I mean, my grandmother was a, a pianist and also a painter. Oh, okay. And my mother was heavily involved in the theater community in Chicago. Okay. Um, sort of where I got my exposure to theater, but she was working in, in the administrative side of things. Okay. So, but the, she was definitely like the, the reason why we saw so much theater growing up. But my dad is a doctor and my brother's a scientist. So, okay. you know, the very <laughs> our uh, end of the spectrum. Yeah. Uh, where are you from originally? I'm from a town called Libertyville, Illinois. Oh, nice. Fellow Midwestern from Ohio. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, then what kind of were the building blocks to launch to landing the role in Hamilton then? What was like the kind of pivotal moments that when you, I know you went to Juilliard, so how long from that until you actually landed that role? I mean, what was that journey like? Um, it was crazy. I mean, I, I graduated from, from drama school and um, was auditioning uh, that summer and I had auditioned for a musical called Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. Okay. And um, I booked that job and I got to originate the role of Natasha uh, at a theater called Ars Nova. Okay. And um, it was my first professional job and yeah. my first musical that I got to be in um, outside of school. And um, I met this incredible group of, of creators and, and actors and um, it was like really just the foundation of like my experience in the theater community. Yeah. It was very well received and, and um, a profoundly beautiful experience and a beautiful story and, and a great character to play. Yeah. Um, and Thomas Kale, the director of Hamilton and Lynn manuel Miranda came to see it and okay. saw the performance in Natasha Pierre. Wow. And that's uh, why they invited me to come hang out with them uh, uh, in a reading of Act Two of Hamilton. Wow. First time that I, um, you know, ever got exposed to that beautiful material. And, Incredible. And were you always drawn more to theater at the beginning or were you kind of open to see like, I, you know, I can sing, which is your voice is just incredible. Um, and you can act obviously like, were you kind of drawn to theater or were you kind of like, oh, let's see what, what, the, what doors could open for me? Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I knew that um, I loved storytelling and I knew that I loved music. And I, I went to school for acting for theater, like a theater-based okay. education. Um, so that was always like in my awareness of something that I wanted to do and I worked towards. Yeah. But at that time, you know, you don't know if you want to, you don't really, you don't really want to do anything except just work. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so going to LA versus staying in New York is a conversation that a lot of young actors have. And yeah. I think generally, generally, you know, you just want to like get your feet wet and get started. So yeah. I was whatever, whatever yeah. would open first. Well, that's, in that's incredible. And so when you started kind of in the production of Hamilton, do you have any idea, like any hunch, any inkling that it was going to be, I'm sure you could ask this a lot, but I'm just curious too, like, that it was going to be such a huge success and that no one was ever going to be able to get tickets. Like, did you have any idea that it was going to be such a runaway success? Um, I, I had a feeling of the importance of it yeah. and um, how art like that can touch so many people yeah. in so many different ways. Yeah. I knew that it would have this amazing reach and that it would, um, you know, it would really, uh, influence people in a lot of ways. Yeah. I was most surprised about how young 
our fans were and how young audience members got. You know, I just met a four-year-old yesterday who's oh, a cool. new fan because of the film. So cool. and that's, that's such a great, that I want to talk to you about that, but that's such a great way to reach so many more people who maybe don't live in New York and who don't travel to New York too, so. Yeah, but like it, that, like things like that. I mean, I, and when I was in the show, yeah. I met a young people who were like in, like early in high school or in middle school who were fans. Yeah. And now they're all like graduating college. Like <laughs> it's crazy. I, I know that's so cool. Um, but it's it's really cool, and and you know it's one of those beautiful pieces of art that I hope sticks through. That I, I, I like I I can't even imagine what it would be like yeah. to be one person and have that be this like um, this like uh, what am I thinking that this like um, beacon of of art that yeah. you're exposed to as a young person that you always hearken back to that. Yeah. You know, like growing up, you would always watch Hamilton. You know, I think that's the coolest thing ever. So 